It's important for researchers to realize that most communities, and probably every community, has many different knowledge keepers. We're not all the same, and that if they realize that there are many different knowledge keepers who have different gifts, that uh, they could learn from uh, many people in the community that way, and it would enrich their knowledge, and it would enrich the community, again, realizing that researchers are all different as well. It's a two-way street. So myself, I have followed ceremonies since I was a child. And so by, by doing that, um, I've also become a, a teacher in ceremonies. I, I stand up and I speak and share my knowledge in ceremony. So that's how I earned that title to be a CEO of Quachit. Uh, there are many different aspects to knowledge keepers. Some of uh, the knowledge keepers have deep knowledge about uh, traditional practices, about ceremonies, about uh, nature, about herbs, uh, about their use. Others are more uh, historical knowledge. I have of uh, quite a bit of historical knowledge about our community and its surroundings. They have vision and they have um, extra ways of understanding and being because of their own meditations, their own prayers and their own practice that they have that, that extra knowledge. And as I said, a lot of visionaries come from that, you know. Uh, most of us are ceremonial people, not all of us. But in our own personal ceremonies, we find pathways and we, have, we see things far, far ahead. That's part of our prophecies as some knowledge keepers. Like, we have special knowledge. How's that? We have special understanding and vision. When the ancestors speak, we have the ability to connect and hear. You know, when you know that Creator is the only one that can teach someone, it's different. And what you do becomes very humble. You become very humble when you realize and learn that you can't teach anybody anything. All you can do is model what you want them to learn and give them exercises in your classroom or wherever it is you are. Sometime it'll be in the bush. But model humility, honor, and respect. They will pick up all of those things because teaching and learning is an act of love. When um, a knowledge keeper opens their mind and opens their hearts to the creator of all life, that there's knowledge that comes often directly from the ancestors and some knowledge keepers can see them, like myself and can hear them like like I hear and see spirit a lot of a lot of um, knowledge keepers have that gift of of knowing and hearing and so that's what needs to be respected and accepted and understood that we are in some ways holy people and that's why it's important to have that knowledge keeper in that room is because it means that it'll be um, divinely protected and that those uh, ancestors will help in making sure that the work that's being done is blessed. That love and that connection to the Creator 
is what makes a knowledge keeper sp so special. And so that's how I know some of it. And it's very, like, it's very vast, you know, it's, it's very vast. So, yeah, but it's your community that decides. It's not the individual.